Bear, this is Malorian, and this will be a Warhammer Fantasy Battle Report. And it's going to be my dwarves up against some vampires. And uh, I got to say that this is a guy that I haven't played in a while. But going into this game, I pretty much knew he was going to play vampire accounts. Uh, he has other armies, but I think every single time I've seen him play, he plays vampires. So this is like my favorite army is uh, orcs. His favorite is definitely the vampire accounts. So my list was a little bit different to just in case. And uh, we'll go over that in a second. So I am going to be having a Runesmith and a VSB who don't really have much gear at all. A uh, horde of great weapons, uh, hammerers, a horde of great weapon warriors, a four gyrocopters, two cannons, two organ guns, a flame cannon, and then 20 thunderers. And the organ guns actually have the rune of plus one to hit. And one has a flaming rune, but uh, normally I would never take runes, but... Because that makes them magical, and because I didn't want to just be screwed over by Ethereal, I, I I took something more like that just to stand a chance. Which is good, because he's going pretty heavy on it. Uh, he's going to have five Hex Wraiths, two units of Zombies, two Spirit Hosts, uh, then a, well, two Terror Geists in the back, uh, ten Hex Wraiths, and then another five unit of Hex Wraiths. So, lots and lots of Ethereal. Uh, but you're kind of wondering, where's all the rest of it? Well... Uh, inside that building over there by where everything is, is he has a block of like 70 or 80 or whatever skeletons. And in there is a necromancer and he has Manfred. So yeah, this is really bad. And really looking at this game, I really got worried off the start because it could very easily be a non-game. Uh, luckily for me with my four gyrocopters, I could place those down first and really see where he was going. Uh, and it was really clear that he was going on the right side there. And as soon as he put those skeletons in the building, I knew, damn it, uh, this game is going to be kind of a tough one. Because really, with those skeletons in there, that means I'll never get their points. I'll never get the characters. Uh, the ethereal stuff, I mean, the, the, with all the buildings, and there's a lot of buildings, his terror guys can do a very good job of hiding from me. So he can save those points. Uh, and so really, what I when I first saw this... My first reaction was, you know what, I should just castle on the, the back left corner, shoot my cannons, try and get kill a few ethereal things, get the win, and that's it. But you know what, I didn't drive the, the half an hour to get here and, and play this this old friend of mine just to play a game like this. So I'm going to kind of make a game of it, but I'm not going to be stupid either. So that's why I put my hammerers and my characters off on the left side, because believe it or not, Initiative 2 Dwarves do not like Purple Sun. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try and pick away his Thiril, uh stuff. Uh, if, if he shows me a Terror guy, so I'll try and get those points. And I'm going to try and see if I can actually force him to engage. So he does a little bit of Vanguard here. And uh, these guys are coming up. On my turn, what I do is uh, really I put the Thunderers into the building. Uh, that opens up the, the organ Gun so it can shoot just fine. I fly up the... Uh, two gyrocopters to redirect his hex race because I don't want to be charged by them right away. And then the right organ gun is able to kill five from the, the larger unit. And uh, the left one shoots those guys behind the building, so they had cover, but I still was able to kill two of those guys. Uh, otherwise, moved around some of my war machines to get a little bit better of an angle. Uh, the troops kind of shifting over, uh, but that's that's really it. So on his turn, he's going to charge both these here. And he also kind of surprised me where he decided to charge the building. I think really what he wanted to do was just to get, and get closer to my line so that after that, he could just move over the building and be in my war machines. But uh, I have a plan for this. So anyway, at the end of this, uh, he has one terror guys that comes over, but he carefully measures to make sure at least one of the cannons can't see it. Uh, he screams at the one gyrocopter there and is able to destroy it. Uh, the other one does just one wound to my gyrocopter and I hold. Uh, he goes after my guys in the building and nothing really happens. Uh, because in that settlement, there's basically two buildings. He has the, the skeletons move up into basically the real tower and some zombies go back into the back building. Uh, magic phase, I believe doesn't really do anything. Uh, he tries to cast with his Necromancer, fails, tries to cast with his Manfred, fails, and uh, that's really the magic phase. So some pretty bad luck here. So on my turn, uh, what my scheme was, I didn't take a picture of the charge, 
but I had it set up so that my warriors could flank the the hex wraith there. And my hope was that the other hex wraiths would beat the gyrocopter and uh, pursue it uh, so that they'd be further up so I could overrun into them. However, that combat turned out to be a nothing, so I just beat the hex wraiths and then reformed. Uh, I did have two gyrocopters that were going to go behind him and start going after his uh, zombies, but between the terror guys being able to kill it pretty easily and the spirit host looking backwards, I decided just to ditch and leave that alone. Uh, otherwise, I was able to get a little bit of shooting on the right terror guys, do uh, three wounds, and uh, but not, not enough to actually kill it. Uh, of course, whenever you hit a, a terror guys with a cannon, uh, it seems to me, okay, not always, I, I, that's not a fair statement, but I only rolled like one wound, so it didn't really matter at all. So I could have taken it out, but uh, no super dice for me. So on his turn, uh, really what happens here is that the terror guys goes back away. Uh, he is able to uh, send his one spirit host around to the left side. Uh, his other spirit host just kind of standing around in my way. He beats up on my uh, gyrocopter and destroys that, gets those points. Uh, I didn't mention it, but of course my shooting destroyed the other hex ray. So really there's only that one large unit now. Uh, but otherwise what happens is in his magic phase, he tries to do a gaze and a gash to me. Uh, it's going to go off with the Irresistible Force, and he's going to forget that and uh, a few other spells. But now Manfred is only going to be a level 1. So that was a, a pretty big blow to him, but uh, hey, uh, I'll take it. And now this is even better, where those warriors can charge the Spirit Host, beat it through Combat Res, and that's a fairly easy overrun to get to the, the Hex Rates, and I'll get those points as well. So over here, what I do is I charge into the flank with this gyrocopter, and uh, just to make sure to get the points, I'm going to have the hammerers reforming to look up here as well. Uh, it really is a waste, but these guys aren't doing anything else anyway. Otherwise, I get off this charge, but in the end, I overrun a measly three inches, and I don't quite make it. So that really, really hurt. Um, I should say that those terror guys are pretty much all healed, and then where their positioning was, I couldn't really get anything on them. Uh, the organ gun tried shooting into the hex race to try and whittle them down before I charged into them, but uh, between the two organ guns and with misfires and so forth, I only killed, what, like two guys or something, so that could have been a lot better, but, uh, you know, still, I'm scoring some points and uh, I'm feeling pretty good. On his turn, though, he's able to charge past me and get to my organ gun, so that's not great, but uh, if nothing else, I still have the other organ gun that can hopefully finish these guys off. But he beats them and goes off the board, but again, he'll have to show his face sometime, and I can shoot him then. And uh, overall, it looks like this. He crumbles a little bit more with the spirit host on the left. Uh, his magic is able to uh, get back more of the zombies. Uh, he had gone for a purple sun that I scrolled this turn and that's really it so on my turn I go in here with the hammers and that spirit host is now just gone and uh, otherwise what I do is I just reform the warriors there to try and uh, just kind of face the issue so I don't have to worry I mean I was kind of thinking that if I okay here's the thing <laughs> I could try for like a long charge onto the terror geist but I need like a 10 or 11 and if I failed, the zombies could get to my flank. He could put the two terror guys in my front. And he could probably beat me between the thunder stomps and all the rest of it and whatever magic he did as well. And with all those zombies in my flank, uh, I wouldn't be steadfast. So I didn't want to do that. I decided to stand there. A uh, gyrocopter goes over to flame it. And I do some other shooting to bring down the zombies. So they're not that big of a threat anymore. But that's really all I had done in my turn. So on his turn, he brings on his hex wraiths and... I think he put himself like this so that he'd be trying to get a cover save, but really he's just too big. He, he's not going to get a cover save by doing this. Uh, otherwise, he goes for a purple sun on my warriors. Uh, it's too high, so he can try and stop it. But he rolls a misfire, hits himself, but since he's in a building, that doesn't really do anything. Uh, the way I understand it is, I mean, normally if you misfire with a purple sun, your mage will get hit, but now since he's in a building... If you place it over it, it's just going to hit D6 models. So 
he, he loses like five skeletons and that's really it. But hey, you know, I was hit by a purple sun and that's all I care about. Otherwise, his terror guys come over and they do a little bit of screaming at me. I will be able to get off a little bit of shooting on them if I want. But uh, otherwise, yeah, still really kind of cagey play. So on my turn, I go and I charge the zombies just to try and get some points. And over here, I shoot my organ gun, but again, I get a misfire, and I'm not able to finish these guys off. So, uh, the misfires have really been haunting me this game, and uh, it's just ethereal. It's it's janky, and uh, I was able to kill some of it, but this last guy, not quite. So, at the end, it's going to be looking like this. So, the zombies are dead. I tried doing some shooting at his terror geist, but there's really only, like, one cannon I could shoot, and yeah, it's... That's really it. So on his turn, he's going to be going after my other organ gun. And uh, otherwise, he has a very nice purple sun. So he gets off a purple sun, even though he's only a level 1 now. And it goes through both these units here. And actually, I passed a lot of tests on my hammers. But uh, really lose a lot of my warriors there. Uh, and I also lose two gyrocopters. It was, it was horrendous. You know, I kind of put the gyrocopters way back here just so that they could be avoiding the magic. But, uh, yeah, he net himself some pretty good points here. Uh, then he does another little, uh, whatever this one, wind of death or something through these guys to kill a couple more. And then after the screams and stuff, I, I pass my panic test for the magic phase. But after the screams, I fail my panic, run away from the closest unit, and uh, it looks like this now. So, uh, yeah, I'm just hoping I can rally, and then maybe he makes a mistake where he... He charges with the one terror geist first, of course, so I can run over the other one and get away. But uh, that's a lot of points that's right there that he could pretty easily get now. So on my turn, I am able to rally. Uh, the hammers are coming back and trying to get to these guys here. I actually uh, made a charge and uh, failed it. I need something pretty good, like an H or something anyway. But uh, the big thing here where I thought I'd get the points is I thought I'd get the points from the terror geist. You know, they finally had to show their face, and so I, I went after it, and uh, unfortunately I was able to do, I believe, four wounds, but that's it. One cannon bounced short, uh, the flame cannon did awesome, and did three wounds, and the other cannon, yet yeah, one wound. So, uh, what can you do? So on his turn, it works just the way I needed it to. He charges with the one terror geist, I roll high enough to hop over the other one, and I'll be safe. And then otherwise over here, uh, he, he goes for uh, magic on trying to kill my VSB. Uh, luckily with his death magic, the, the caress, he's only able to do one wound. So uh, that could have been a big chunk of points for him, but I got kind of lucky. And then otherwise, all he can really do is scream at these guys and he kills them down to four. But uh, that means no points. So uh, yeah, not much actually killed on either side. So at the end of the turn, uh, it looks like this. Uh, we're still fighting at the bottom. Uh, and really, when it, we really count it up, all I killed of his, because this last Hex Wraith was in a larger unit, is I killed two units of five Hex Wraiths. I killed the uh, two uh, Spirit Hosts, and I was able to kill one unit of zombies. That's it. For him coming back, all he destroyed was my four Gyrocopters and uh, one Organ Gun. And so really, when you add it all up, uh, turned out to be a tie. So, kind of a non-game. I mean, it, it it definitely, this was more of a game that could have been, you know, had I just hid in the corner and just decided to castle, and uh, it's really just a fight between nothing, really. Uh, but this is one of the reasons, again, why I really want to see GW going towards scenarios that force you to the center, right? Uh, Watchtower or something like that, but if you just have more scenarios that force you to actually move up the board and to actually get to the center, it's going to force more engagements and force people to build armies that will be based around that. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, this is the way this game went. So, hopefully, it was interesting for you guys. But uh, I'll catch you later. Bye.